Hello everyone, my name is Kiana, aka Kiana211, and I'm out of breath apparently, even though I've just been walking. So, I'm currently at my Nana's cottage, and I believe I'm coming back home on Thursday, so hopefully the day before you see this. Because I'm hoping that I'll upload this on a Friday, and not a Saturday. Because I've been very bad at uploading, and I apologize for that, and I sincerely and deeply apologize for the one week I went away. Well, not away. The one week I didn't upload. That's better. Because the reason why I didn't upload was, well, I said it during the update apology video, but that's not enough. And I wish it was more, but I don't trust the new maker at all. So I apologize. So basically what happened was, it was for the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean video, the puzzle video and it actually took me a lot of hours to edit even though it may not look it, ugh, can't speak even though it didn't really look like it it took me probably around three to six hours the first time I edited it because movie maker kept on crashing on me and what I did was just cut out the parts of me putting the the puzzles together I can't think clearly and that took a while. It took me 50 minutes to record, even though I knew how to put the puzzles together because I already pre-built it before the video, so it would be easier. But Movie Maker just kept giving me a lot of trouble, and it got to the point where I was actually on the verge of tears. And I was like, you know what, I can't do this. I actually felt really, really awful, and I still feel really, really awful about not giving you guys a proper video or a proper apology video all I could do was text so I apologize I hope you guys forgive me and hopefully it won't ever happen again or if it does I hope I actually make a proper video apologizing and not just this text and yeah so okay bugs so I'm currently just walking by myself on this trail it's nice and I actually can vlog because no one can really hear me because it's nice up here which I like because honestly I'm not really that comfortable comfortable don't even know if I said that word right comfortable talking in front of a camera like I'm even still shy to talk in my own backyard there is a bug in my ear okay so that's partially why I haven't really making vlogs because one, there's nothing to do where I live so that's one thing and two, because I haven't really been having the courage to talk if I'm a camera in front of people that's why in the vlog where I went to the Pickering Town Center I didn't talk at all, I just took my, my not my phone, my camera and I just recorded little bits and, bits and pieces. I'm sorry, I can't talk. But I just recorded bits and pieces of my journey and added music to it. Which is partially what that vlog was. So that's why I don't really vlog. But if there's stuff to do and I actually can talk in front of people, I would vlog. Could? Would? I would vlog. Sorry, there was a car coming by and people were walking, so as I stated before, I'm clearly not comfortable talking in front of people, not even cars apparently. Well, there's one car going this way, so that's why I kind of felt not self-conscious, but kind of awkward if I'm on camera. Again, uh, now cars are wanting to come. What was I trying to say? Yes. I just wanted to thank each and every one of you for checking out my channel and clicking that subscribe button thinking that me and my channel was worth subscribing to. It really does mean a lot to me. And currently I have 15 subscribers. I don't know if it will change by the time I get home or not because I checked it last time before I went up to the cottage. So last Saturday, Sunday, somewhere along those lines, but regardless whether it changes or not, I just wanted to say thank you all for subscribing to me. As I said, it really does mean a lot to me. And there was one comment in particular that kind of made it very surreal for me. 
I believe her username is Sabrina the Challenger, which she has commented on quite a few of my videos. So thank you, uh, so thank you, Sabrina, for commenting on my channels. That alone means a lot to me. But one of the things that she said was it was on the the photo mosaics parts of the Caribbean puzzle video. She said to me in the in my reply to her comment to never stop making videos and that's really surreal I think for any YouTuber to get no matter how big or small their channel is but it really did mean a lot to me and it really did make my day or night counts on how you want to see it because I think it was past midnight so either late night early morning however you guys want to view it it still made me smile it made my day slash night so thank you yeah, I can't say thank you, but regardless of me not being able to speak, speak. Thank you, Sabrina, for your comment. It really did mean a lot to me. And there is a bug <laughs> trying to ruin this moment. But yes, thank you, Sabrina. It does mean a lot to me, and it means a lot to me for all the likes, the views, and the comments I've been getting from you guys. So whether you guys should stick around for one video and you don't subscribe or you do subscribe it means a lot to me just to think that I am interesting to even 15 people is insane to think about because I'm really not not that much of an interesting person unless me not being able to speak being able to speak is interesting to you guys for some reason but regardless of that Thank you. So for any of you out there who are thinking about making a YouTube channel, I would say just do it. If you really do want to make a channel, just make sure you're doing it for all the right reasons. If you're just doing it to get famous and for views, I will say right now, don't make a channel. Because for me personally, that is one of the biggest turnoffs for me to check out a channel. If you're spamming, or if it's clear just doing it for money and views. Like Simon Tills uh, like Ken said, he wanted to do it as a job, which is fine. Cause like he genuinely wants to do it and he genuinely, uh, he genuinely cares about his subscribers and all that. So I see no problem if you're like, why well, I, I want to do it for a job, not for a hobby. Understand that, can't say you can't do that for a job or wanting to do it for a job, but make sure your heart is in the right place. That's all that matters because people can see right through it and they will not want to check out your channel. Like for me, for instance, I watched the Teen Choice Awards yesterday because all we got at the cottage is the channel Global, which I believe is channel three, where I live, like on the TV, but here it's channel two. But anyways, yeah, I did watch the Teen Choice Awards and I'm so proud of the YouTube community and anybody who won. I'm sure they're all deserving. The only people whom I really knew <laughs> were like the YouTubers like Joey Gasefa, Tyler Oakley. Tyler Oakley, I can't speak. Sorry if I butchered your, butchered your name, Tyler. Ryan Higa, PewDiePie, Grace Helbig, Gen X Pen. All those lovely people I watch because they are amazing. Who won those categories? Uh, mm, Bethany Moda won female web star and oh not Cameron Dallas who was that other person finer somebody male I will put it somewhere here of the male web star that won but even to get nominated it's just amazing and in the audience I saw Joey Graceffa with his boyfriend Daniel and I saw Tyler Oakley with Corey and I saw Grace Helbig, and I believe it was Lily, aka Superwoman, who was sitting beside Grace. And it just made me happy just to see all these people coming together, and these people that I know. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. <laughs> what was I gonna say? I don't know. So I'm wearing my I'm a Unicorn shirt, which has a little penguin wearing ice cream on it on its head, I should say, pertaining to be a unicorn. 
If you guys would like this shirt, it is sadly unavailable now because it was limited edition to raise money for Nepal and I think <clears throat> to raise money for food for people in poverty and that was from Bubs, Bubs Beauty, Bubs Vlog, Bubs Vlogs, however you know her. I really can't speak today. I'm sorry. <clears throat> yeah, it's a really cute shirt and I like it. And the other one, yeah, it has to be over right now. It has to be over 10 days when I was up here. She had another one. I don't know if it went to the same cause or not. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. It was just a, sh a sweater with like a little poo emoji type thing with a corn on its head. And it said like, I'm the corny kind, which I thought was cute, but it was really expensive. So I couldn't buy it. But I'm sure lots of people bought it. I think over a hundred people bought it from when I checked it out. Again, don't quote me on that, but still amazing to do things for other people to help out to those who are less fortunate than us. That's like, uh, so that's why when Markiplier, for instance, does cheery live streams and he has things available, I usually buy them unless they are really expensive, which I don't blame Mark or anybody else who does things for charities because I know that they try to make it as cheap as possible for us but yet make it still I guess profitable not profitable but still make money for the charity they're raising money for <laughs> people keep coming so I have to stop the video well I have to stop I just feel the need to stop because again awkward but regardless what was I saying Oh yeah, talking about charity and giving back and stuff, which is why, as I said, I try to help out as much as I can with like Mark Pliers, charity live streams, anyone else's. And if I can't donate, I try to retweet on Twitter or let people know. So if somebody can donate and help the cause, they can. And actually, in the future, which won't sadly happen for quite a while, because I need a capture card and figure out everything. But I do really want to start doing charity live streams once in a while. And not only charity live streams, but 24 hour ones. Or at least try 24 hour ones. I know sometimes things will happen where I can't do 24 hour ones. Which I think is still fine as long as money is raised for a charity. It's all good. But that's something I really, really do want to do. Hopefully sometime in the near future, not the far future, the near future. And I think it would be pretty easy to stay up for 24 hours. If I can, I can stay up for 24 hours, like if I have to. But I have a feeling, now that I said that, and I do start charity live streams, it's going to be an effort and I have to stay awake. But I'm sure it'll be interesting watching me be a little crazy while I'm tired which you can kind of see in my Christmas vlog which was my first vlog ever on my channel I was really really tired doing that video and it kind of showed so if you guys want to check that out and then the puzzle video that I mentioned also I will leave it in the description box down below in case you guys are interested and want to check it out let's walk down this way Oh, my battery is almost low. So, like for the cherry live streams, I've been thinking what I would do is maybe just a little bit of random things and also games, which I'm also planning to do for my channel. But I also, need, well, I don't need a capture card to record gaming content on my channel. It'll just be the camera pointing to the screen, so it won't be the best quality. But me personally, I don't care about quality, but I know a lot of people nowadays do care about quality. I don't know if you can see me because of the sun glare. But, yeah, hopefully I can get that soon. And if you guys don't mind about the quality, I can probably start sooner. I just need to figure out how to set everything up. Because I do have a tripod, which I found in my parents' room. Which is what I would use probably to shoot the camera to the screen, my TV screen. 
but I don't know if I would use the other camera that I used previously before this camera <clears throat> to record my face or if I just won't have face cam. I'm not entirely sure yet, but you guys can let me know if that sounds like a good idea. But I will say I will be awkward at commentating because I'm not that interesting, like I said before, and I know that <clears throat> like gamers such as Markiplier and PewDiePie and all that, I'm not saying they're bad at commentating, but I know like it was awkward for them at first when they were first commentating. <clears throat> and now they're like, these are, well they were still hilarious people, but <laughs> I think you understand what I mean. So maybe me be awkward and not really talking would be interesting to some people. I don't know. <laughs> but just let me know. Because I am planning to do a little bit of everything on my channel. Because I actually do like a little bit of everything. I like beauty gurus. I like vloggers. I like people who collab, do sketches, <clears throat> gamers. All those people. Unless they're trying to be rude and offensive, then obviously I won't like those videos. But, and that, I do like every type of video on YouTube. So, I'm hoping to kind of put all that into my channel, because that's what I want to do. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I feel like I am sweating. It is so hot. Oh my goodness. I actually hate the heat. I prefer the cold. Don't know if it's because I'm Canadian or not, but definitely prefer the cold over the heat. I hate the heat with a burning passion. There is no pun type of joke intended. It just happened to be that way. It's just, oh my god. It's a lot. Also, I've been thinking about doing these types of videos because I don't know if anybody does do it on YouTube right now. And if someone does see this video and takes my idea, I don't care. Cause anybody can do it. I'm sure I'm not the first one to think of it. But I was thinking to do kind of like, you know how YouTubers do like my favorites for January, February, and so on and so forth for like products and stuff? I was thinking since I don't really have that much money to just spend, not saying they do, but like I personally can't just like go out and buy like all these things. But I keep saying but a lot. <laughs> but I'm so mature. I blame all the gamers I watch, all the male ones. Wow, very stupid. Um, what was I saying? So yeah, I was thinking about doing videos where I do like my favorites for each month, but since I don't buy a lot of products or things like that, I could just do my favorite videos for the month. If that seems interesting, I really don't know, but it does in my head. Maybe it won't portray that way when I actually make the video if I do. Hopefully it does. So basically it would just be me taking the video, so let's say I do it next month, which I probably won't, so don't get your hopes up, but it would be like, so let's say I do it for August, for this month. I just take the videos that I really enjoyed during the month of August, whether they were new or old that I came across, and then talk about those. So for instance, right now this month, I am currently enjoying immensely Cry, Cry Attic on YouTube, which I also link this playlist and his channel in the description box down below. His playthrough of Haunting Ground. It is beyond funny. I am immensely enjoying it. I downloaded a couple of videos on my computer from YouTube to watch while I'm up here because there's no Wi Fi, which I am fine with. I can go for that Wi Fi. I know in this day and age, oh my god no Wi-Fi or what's gonna happen, but I actually can go without Wi-Fi, which is nice, which I think a lot of people should be able to do, and it's gonna get off topic, but I know, I forget which class does it, but when I was in high school there is a class, is it psychology? I don't know, but basically one thing to have to do during that class, there's one day where you have to go 24 hours, without technology or anything. So it's phones, TVs, computers, cameras, nothing. So with all these challenge videos on YouTube, it might add some of them are beyond stupid, which I will never do. So like Simon challenge, I will never do. Ever, if I ever do do that for some reason, you can give me hate. 
but I probably won't do it ever. If I do, I will slap myself on camera. If I ever do it, which I won't, because it's stupid. And anything that can cause harm or can potentially kill me, I'm not going to do. So, don't bother saying this challenge, this challenge, but the Carly lip, the Carly Jenner lip challenge. That was beyond stupid. Why would people do that? If you've done it, no, what's it called? Not hating on you for doing it, but just like, why? Why do it? But, um, challenge. But yeah, make that a challenge. Go 24 hours without any technology. And if you want to record your process, take a pen or pencil and write it on a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. What was I saying before that? Challenge paper. I might add it here because I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. I was talking about cry. It's playthrough. So basically, forgot for the. For those of you who don't know, Haunting Ground is basically you're this female character named Fiona, and she was in an accident with her parents, and she ends up in this castle, which she's apparently I think the next heir to, and you try to escape the castle and run away from all these people, and what's it called? It's essentially known as Clock Tower 4, even though it's just a spin-off of Clock Tower 4. It's the widest rail line. So it's in the place of Clock Tower 4. And I will say, Fiona is a gift from the heavens compared to Alyssa, which is the main character in Clock Tower 3. I have played it. I wouldn't mind playing it on my channel. I play it a lot. But she is such an annoying character. Oh my gosh. I know Cry, Cry should be done playing Clock Tower 3 right now too, which I will watch when I get home. So I will also link that playlist in the, the description box down below in case you guys are interested and want to check that out. I have all links in my description. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I've been really enjoying Haunting Ground from Cry's playthrough, so that would be my favorites for August. Because it's really funny. It's 16 parts. I'm on part 12. Right now, so if I continue, I'd be on part 12. There are 16 parts, and I would be done it. My voice is going, I've been talking for so long. But anyways, I would be done the video, the playlist. But I'm trying to, what's it called, I guess preserve the playlist, because I leave on Thursday, as I said before. Thursday, Friday, I believe Thursday. So I kind of want to watch one at least every night. So I will watch part 12 tonight. I really wanted to continue it last night or early morning because like 12 1 in the morning it was really really interesting it still is interesting I was so done after the first episode though something happened near the end with the plate key I just oh my gosh it was funny it's just like what I would highly recommend it and I also enjoyed the Game Grumps Bishy Boshy video. I, I really like their little sponsored commercial ad sketch that they did for Crunchyroll. That was really funny. <laughs> so again, I will leave that in the description box down below in case you want to check them out, including their gaming channel. Well, it's gaming channel, so just their channel. I love the Game Grumps. They are amazing, and I love them probably my top five favorite YouTubers. One of the videos I watched the Game Grumps play Rubik King. That was really funny. I guess I'll just say all the videos that I have mentioned or channels I mentioned will be in the description box down below. So I won't keep saying it. My voice is going and it really hurts. So I'm going to end this portion of the video here because I'm at the driveway to the cottage. So, I hope you guys are having an amazing day or night, wherever you are in the world. I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye!